I'm standing at what was one of the Russians' main artillery positions from where they fired on the Kiev satellite towns of Irpin and Bucha. You can see ammunition cases still strewn around and the holes in the ground where the artillery was positioned. This is quite an impressive sight and it was far from the only one, as of course the destruction of those Kiev satellite towns attests to. Something similar now is probably going on right now in eastern Ukraine as Russia continues its offensive on the Donbass regions, but also on Kharkiv and Mykolaiv using mainly artillery barrages that are, of course, very harmful to civilians. The Ukrainian soldiers who brought us here said that the Ukrainians were much more reticent to fire when they thought that civilians could be hurt. And they said that they think that that is why, in fact, Russian troops fired on civilians as they were trying to leave Ipin and Butcher. They fired on the roads by which they were trying to leave because they didn't want the civilians to leave because they were useful to the Russians to be there as a sort of human shield that would prevent Ukrainian artillery from firing on them. According to the Ukrainians, the Russians did not have the same kind of scruples at all and fired a lot more indiscriminately on residential areas of these Kiev suburbs. The soldiers who we came here with say that they are now preparing to go to the east themselves. I asked them if they were scared. They said, yes, of course, you'd be crazy to not be scared. But they nevertheless said that they were confident that the Russians would not be able to take control of Donetsk and uh, Luhansk oblasts as they have said they want to and that the Ukrainians would win the day in the end.